John, good morning. So as far as we know, this is not a nationwide occurrence? Well, Stephanie, if you have an account at one of the 6200 Wells Fargo branches across the United States, you should know that there's no evidence of this type of activity outside of Los Angeles. Still, it wouldn't hurt to go check your accounts just the same amid these allegations that the bank violated its customers' trust. I've had more than 10 accounts at Wells Fargo. I only need one. Los Angeles business owner Frank Ahn is just one of many allegedly swindled by America's fourth largest bank. If I never checked my online banking, I wouldn't have known that these 10 accounts were there. Now the city of Los Angeles is suing. Wells customers have been victimized by tactics designed to maintain high levels of sales of Wells products. L.A. City Attorney Mike Feuer says Wells employees met sales goals by opening bogus accounts and running up fraudulent charges. Wells' business model relies on these sales quotas that are unrealistic and naturally and predictably drove its employees, we allege, to engage in conduct that includes opening new customer accounts be they savings or checking or credit card accounts, without customer's authorization. The lawsuit spells out some of the alleged tactics. One is called bundling, the practice of incorrectly telling customers their checking accounts came with savings, credit cards, or even life insurance. Another tactic was called pinning, secretly obtaining customer PIN numbers so the employee could get a sales credit for enrolling the unwitting customer in online banking. Then there's sandbagging, the practice of delaying the opening of a customer account until the beginning of a new sales period. Consumers can have money withdrawn from accounts unbeknownst to them. They can have fees imposed on them unbeknownst to them. Ahn says his complaints to Wells Fargo have not stopped the bank from opening accounts in his name. They kept making promises. They said, okay, we won't charge you any fees. We, this is it. They always say this is the end of it. So I thought it was the end of it, but it wasn't. Wells Fargo says it will vigorously defend itself. Quote, Wells Fargo's culture is focused on the best interest of its customers and creating a supportive, caring, and ethical environment for our team members. The bank blames the unauthorized charges on what it calls rogue employees. Now, the lawsuit goes on to allege that Wells Fargo told customers who complained about unwanted credit cards to just destroy the cards, which of course does nothing to close the accounts. The lawsuit seeks to put a stop to these practices as well as $2,500 fines for each unlawful act, Stephanie. Okay, John Henry Smith, thank you.